Hello and welcome, my dear Scamodlers, to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo, and today we're going to be taking a look at another Dasberg model. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Dasberg, Dasberg is a German based company. They predominantly make scale models of military vehicles, more specifically World War II military vehicles. If you visit their webpage, you will see that they have a very limited assortment of scale models, but those that they do have are very exceptional. But not all scale models are in-house built. Some are collaborations with other manufacturers, such as Tacom or Amusing Hobby. But the models that are in-house built are really very special, because they give a lot of attention, love and care. Not only that the information on the particular model is more extensive, even the packaging and the manuals and the parts themselves look a little bit more refined and a little bit more thoughtful in the box. And although Daswerk is not a mainstream model manufacturer, I do believe that they bring to the table something unique and very personal to the hobby. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another Canon. This time a French howitzer, 155mm howitzer from World War I. This has to be one of my favorite models from Dustwork Company and it came out this very year. It is a brand new model and it's absolutely fantastic. It shows quality in spades. It is a 135 scale model that costs around 32 euros and has lots of parts with lots of detail, photo edge and decals. We have four paint schemes because you can display the model deployed or undeployed for French army, for the German army in the Second World War, for Africa Corps, Spanish Civil War and American version of this, this particular cannon. Again, the box art depicts figures with the gun, but the figures are not present in the box. However, if you go to the webpage of Das Werk, you will be able to find them and purchase them as well. If you like the content that I make, please consider subscribing, sharing, caring and clicking that bell notification button in the corner so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. That usually happens every Sunday. Thank you. Hello again to another Canon, this time from the company Dustwork in 135th scale. This is a static model without any figures despite them being on the box art, but you can buy them from Dustwork and you can find them on their webpage. This is a 100% Dustwork production which means that everything was made by them. So they say, this is a highly detailed static plastic model of a World War I French cannon that was also used by the Americans and in the Spanish Civil War and in World War II by the Germans in Africa. This model can be built in a transport and firing position and it also has ammo crates and shell handling cradles. Despite being a small model kit, this is quite a challenging build because it has quite a lot of parts, 5 spruce containing over 200 parts and some photo edge to go along with it. This is again one of those auxiliary pieces that you build for a diorama, but it can function as a standalone piece without any background noise. This particular model is Dustwerk's latest release, in fact 2021 release, and it shows in spades on all the parts that you see here on the screen. Every single piece, no matter how minuscule it is, has lots of detail, even minute details that you wouldn't even notice if you're not a gun expert. Now the attachment points on certain pieces are a little bit thick and short which means that saws and very thin blades or at least snippers will be required. There is really nothing particularly wrong with this model as far as I can tell. There is hardly any cleanup to be done and the only thing that I could kind of say is a little bit off-putting is the fact that you have to assemble the gun barrel from two pieces. That can lead to some problems but other than that I believe that this should be a solid and fairly painless build. It's overall made by Germans which are precise and punkly. As you can see there's lots of smaller pieces, very intricate pieces that make up this gun and they are all just fantastic. The shells again and the crates here, the attachment points, they could have been handled a little bit better but it's again nitpicking here and I don't really think to nitpick too much. You have some uh, photo edge parts that come with the gun they're not that many, but still they give you a little bit of a extra pizzazz to the model. The decal sheet of paper is fairly small, but contains sharp and clear markings for the various guns that you might go for. One of the things that I came to appreciate about Dasford models is their manuals. They are really very unique manuals. They are story driven and they build up the appetite as you 
go along through the manual to give you the taste of what this model can be when you actually finish with it. You've seen many manuals, so have I, but there's something about this particular manual that just speaks to you in a very simplified, easy way. Every step is nicely and methodically laid out, clear instructions, and it's really hard pressed to be wrong and not know what to do in a particular step. So I give this manual A for effort from DOSWORK. Very nice job and I hope other manufacturers are watching. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have been, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye bye.